A good decluttering video gets people excited in the same way that a good makeover video or shopping haul video does. And I think that's because people like to see results and even like to fantasize that maybe they could achieve those results themselves. Now, the nice thing about decluttering is that unlike shopping hauls and makeovers, decluttering doesn't actually cost you money. So really anyone can do it, even me and even you. So as you've probably heard, the KonMari method for Marie Kondo of tidying up. She recommends that you take everything out of your closet and dump it on your bed. And I know why she does this, I get it, it makes perfect sense. When you see everything that you have, you have to face the reality of how much stuff there is. In this case, how many clothes there are. The problem is, as a parent with young kids and a million things going on, if I put all of my clothes on my bed, I'm not gonna be able to sleep on my bed tonight, so I'm not gonna do it that way. I think we get stuck and bogged down by making a hundred little decisions. We definitely get decision fatigue. If you don't know what that is, it means that you really can only make so many good decisions in a day. So doing things like this earlier in the day is definitely better if you can, but also just keep in mind that it's harder to make decisions as the day goes on. So your biggest friend when you are decluttering as a parent, especially things like clothes where it can be hard to make the right decision about things, is going to be having a maybe bin. So I'm going to have a maybe bin when I'm finished that I'm just going to put in the basin. So here you can see I am unloading a plastic bag. These were clothes that I was going to send in to thread up. You can send them your used clothes and they will resell them and they give you a little bit of money for it. But after I sent my first bag in and realized that they give you very, very little money for it, I decided to just give my clothes away. It wasn't worth sending them in just to get a couple dollars off my next purchase. So I am going to post these first on our Neighborhood Buy Nothing page and then if nobody wants them, I can just donate them to Goodwill. But then I also have on this side like four or five things that I thought, I really like this item, but I don't wear it. So I'm going to wear those things in the next couple of weeks and see how they feel. See if I feel comfortable in them, see if they fit, see if they go with other stuff in my closet. And if they don't, then they're immediately purged. For example, a couple of things I have in my closet I bought this used from ThreadUp and I just haven't worn it. And I think it's actually a great piece and I just forgot to wear it. So I'm gonna try wearing it, see how it feels, see how it fits, see if I can make at least three different outfits with it. Same thing for this white shirt. This seems like a really good basic. All of the fashion things that I've been listening to and watching have told me that you really need a white button up shirt. And I thought it was such a great idea and my kids are old enough now, I feel like I can wear white. It's not dirty. <laughs> but I need to start wearing it or I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to see if I can use these little boot hangers because I like the idea of hanging my boots, but I've got to see if I can reconfigure my shoe wrap. So I kind of love how this is working out. I removed the middle pieces so that I could have taller shoes here. So kind of my low boots fit there and I still have no idea what to do with my tall boots. I have two pair of tall boots. All right, so I'm taking out another shelf. Oh, then it runs into my dresses. Oh, it still doesn't fit. Come on, man. Okay, so here's how this turned out and I don't think I like it. So I think I'm going to put all those rungs back in. These have a good spot now, but I just have so little other shoe storage. So I'm gonna have to try something else. Okay, so my first solution is that I noticed that the heel on this was worn. So I'm gonna get rid of these so then I don't have to worry about storing them, which means I have one pair of tall boots, but I've got this pool noodle that our son hacked to pieces with his toy saw. And you know what I'll do? I will ask him to saw this long one shorter for me to match the other one. I think this is a good solution for storing tall boots because it's gotta be easy or you won't do it. And that'll keep those pretty nice. Okay, awesome. That's exciting. All right, so this is hardware for these drawers. We built this closet ourselves and these are extra pieces. It's always good when you build something and have all these extra pieces. Oh, well that is kind of silly. These go in to cover the 
little bit of metal you can see. But it appears my husband saved one set for one drawer, probably this last drawer that we added later, and he threw the rest away. So I'm not gonna put them on just for one drawer. So garbage. And instructions, also garbage. Really just a lot of extra pieces that I, I don't know what they're for, but the drawers work great. So we're gonna get rid of these. This is an entire drawer of workout clothes. I don't work out that often. And I used to go to the YMCA sometimes before COVID. So I'm gonna put these away until, until we have more of a handle on this global pandemic. Same thing with a bunch of these tank tops, I think. This drawer, I was dreading a little bit. These are my jeans, some of which don't fit. So that's frustrating. I'm not gonna give them all away because I'm not gonna give up hope that I might get myself in shape here. COVID's been rough. I'm just gonna pack the ones away that don't comfortably fit right now. In this box and the other one like it on the top shelf, I am putting things that I don't plan on wearing while COVID is still running rampant. So I put some dressy tops in here that I love and I do wear when we're able to go to fancy places like date night and the theater. It's like Tetris. All right, so let's look at what we've got left. I feel like this looks really good and manageable. So here I've got my maybe pile I was talking about. These are things that I want to wear once and see if I like them. A couple blanket scarves, and then you can kind of see my winter uniform. I've got long sleeve shirts, button up shirts that I would layer on top. These are my lightweight sweaters. I do hang them on hangers like this. It's actually a hack that is really handy and nice. And then they don't take a ton of space, but they don't get the little shoulder bumps. And then my three vests that I wear constantly as layering pieces and to make my outfits more interesting. Over here, I have some dressy things that I'm not wearing, but really have nowhere else to put them. And that looks pretty good. Then let's look at my drawers here. So here I have some basic long sleeves, basic colors of short sleeves, a couple graphic tees, hyper rock, I've got my camisoles, my long underwear and camisoles, which seems like a lot of camisoles and long underwear, but it's Minnesota. Then I've got my denim drawer, my pajama drawer. This is now my workout drawer. This feels great. This was stuffed before. And my socks and underwear. This shelf has my bulky, thicker, really warm sweaters. I tried to limit myself to a stack of two at any given point because if it gets more than that, I just end up stuffing them up there and it ends up being this big cascade of sweaters that just avalanche down on me eventually. These are my kids' socks. If you missed my video on that, I will put it up here. I took my kids' socks away and they have to check them out like library books. I've got my earrings that I wear most often and just some odds and ends. And then I got these little sticky hooks at Ikea I love it. I love how my closet turned out. I don't exactly have a capsule wardrobe, but I'm bringing in some of the ideas of a capsule wardrobe. If you don't know what that is, it's the idea that you have usually four seasons of clothes and you have a limited number of items, but everything in that season goes together. So you pick a couple of accent colors that are for that season and try not to stray outside of your neutrals and your accent colors so that you can really mix and match and make a ton of different outfit combinations out of very few actual items. Different capsules have different amounts of clothes in them, but what I did was I'm going with what I have because the idea is to have less stuff and to not do more shopping. You can have more time to do this. This is the Antarctic for 20 seconds and I was trying to wait for the right time. I'm slowly opening the door. When it comes to decluttering your closet, there are a lot of different methods you can choose to use. What I decided to ask myself was, do I want to take this into my future? Do I want to continue caring for this item? Another great question to ask yourself if you're really trying to massively downsize your wardrobe is would I buy this today? I also, because I'm cheap, sometimes ask myself, would I pay full price for this? It's past somebody's bedtime, so I better get going. She wants the lights out. She's so annoyed. <laughs> trying to make up for it with a little neck rub. 
Is that helping? I am almost finished. I'm still trying to focus on rooms and areas of the house that seem like they're going to be the easiest for me. This definitely wasn't a really tricky spot. And then I'm going to work in towards the areas that are the stickiest for me as far as not wanting to get rid of stuff, but wanting there to be less stuff. The mud room is up next, which will be easy, easy, because we actually just built a new mud room built in to put stuff in. So there are places for things to go. So I will show you that next time. I'm really excited. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe below and be sure to ring that little bell. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time. You've got this, mamas.